What's up, Quadcopter fans? It's HiringADrone.com, and today I'm going to bring you a review on the Ionic Quadcopter CX023. Um, this is a brand new one that I just received in the mail. Uh, this has been sealed, never opened. Um, as you can see, you can see the drone right through the box here. Looks very, very similar to the uh, Cheerston CX10. So might be a little bit of a knockout. I really do like my Cheerston. Um, it does have some prop guards, which my Cheerston does not. I believe you can get them on the Cheerston. Um, it does have orientation here, which is nice. So you know that way you can see where you're flying. Um, it does come with what seems to be a bigger controller uh, than the Cheerston. Uh, six axis gyro, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, five channels, 360 degree flips, LED lights. Let's see if there's anything else on the box that's notable. I did get the white one. Uh, I believe there are some other colors. I believe there's an orange uh, as well as a green. So let's open this bad dog up, see what it has to offer. The old rough way there. Alright. Troller out. And the drone does not seem to want to come out. Give it a little tug. So I'll go ahead and set the box here in the background. Alright. So looks like we got a bag here. Um, propellers, charger, instruction manual. Um, we have our transmitter or controller here. Looks uh, like a mini uh, PlayStation controller um, for the price point. Very similar, uh, very nice controller. I don't know all the details to it, but get into that here in a second. And then most importantly, uh, you know, we do have the drone here, so. Take these wires off. Get this sucker out of here. Now, I I have heard some reports that um, the accelerometers on these might be messed up. Uh, also, I did hear some reports too that the uh, motors do go bad and, uh, and there's some quality control issues I, I'm taking it um, from what I've read online hopefully that's not the case you know maybe I should have done my homework before purchasing this drone here uh, I had you know quite a bit of uh, good reviews and five stars on the site that I purchased it from which is very well known so you know I'm hoping that everyone else is right but guess we'll get into it and take a look. Not really too happy that that's through where the motor casing is in there. Okay. Alright, so taking a look at the drone here. Um, you know, you have your red-white propellers, which will be great for orientation. Has your built-in battery pack, so you're not going to be able to take this out. You will need to charge it in between flights. And if you look here on the back side, you have your on off. This is pretty cool. It's got some green lights. It's got some blue white lights. All right. And then this looks like what is probably going to be the charger port right here. A little bit odd. Haven't seen one like this before. Um, I believe these do these prop guards do come off. Very very small little uh, nodules there in order to be able to get them off. Um, but overall, I mean, this is basically the same design as the Cheerston CX10. Appears to be some sort of knockoff. Here is my Cheerston. See size wise, looks to be a little bit bigger than the Cheerston, if not same size. Cheerston is very well built. This thing is very, very solid. This, the CX023, uh, uh, the uh, Ionic, the one that I have here in my hand, 
This feels to be like a hard plastic, not quite as uh, durable it feels like as what the Cheerston CX-10 is. So that does have me a little concerned too as well. Uh, you know, as far as possibly the quality control or the overall quality of this mini quadcopter. So really won't know until I get out there and take it for a flight. Things pretty basic though. You know, you got your motors that are encased here. All your wiring is encased, which is nice, especially where I fly out in the desert. So you're not going to get a bunch of dirt and grime and dust in there. Um, doesn't look like any wires are exposed down here by the motors, which is nice. And the lights are really cool for the orientation too. I like that green and white, a little bit different. This little charger piece, a little concerning, uh, just for the fact is that you know if you were to wreck and this rips off, you know how are you going to charge this thing? So that's. Uh, one downside, as you can see, like on the Cheerston CX-10, you have your charger port right here where it plugs in, on off switch. Um, this one is very well built and very fun to fly. So I'm hoping I get the same results out of this once I do get a chance to fly it. So I'm going to open up the bag here, see what comes along with it. You know, most of these little nano or mini quadcopters, you know, you get some propellers, you get your charger and you get your manual. And that looks like what I got today. I got my four propellers, two reds, two whites. My charger, which I need another one of these, like a hole in the head. But I have quite a bit. Um, this is a completely different charger port, you know, uh, which is to be expected with, you know, this bizarre charger. Uh, sticking out of there so I'm assuming it just slides in directly like that or maybe upside down yeah there we go um you know I don't know really know how I feel about that charger being on the outside so I guess we'll see you know especially how this thing flies don't know if these are gonna make a difference with the prop cards on here or not have to give it a couple of flights and then probably take those off my Cheerston CX-10, when I purchased it, it did not have any prop cards on it. Um, you know, I've bashed this thing quite a bit, wrecked it quite a bit. I believe the only bit of damage I have is this is a little bit cracked here on the motor casing where it holds on the frame. But this thing is so stylish. It takes such a good beating. Um, you know, very impressed with that. So the controller, uh, considerably different than, you know, what your Cheersting controller is this feels a lot cooler because it's more you know along the lines of like a PlayStation controller um, I did read that you know it does not make any beeps uh, when you're switching into you know your advanced from beginner modes or you know when you're you're doing your flips so that's going to be a little bit different difficult to kind of figure out what's going on uh, since it's not going to make any beeps or there's no way to tell exactly what mode you're in. I guess you're just going to have to guess. Um, but overall, pretty good feel. Um, this is a little light here, so I could probably see, it's a little loose, I mean, so I could probably see, you know, having to play with this quite a bit in order to get the correct, um, you know, throttle up, throttle down your pitch. This is pretty stiff over here. Um, which is nice. I was hoping this one would be a little bit stiffer, but still overall for the price, very good. So just to kind of review on the unboxing of what came with it, uh, you got your drone, your four propellers, you do have your charger, USB, um, you have your instruction manual, and your transmitter. So that is the uh, icon Ionic quadcopter CX-023 and uh, I'll be taking this for a test flight here shortly I'm posting that on YouTube as well if this video helped you out in any way definitely give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, for more unboxings more flights and more videos in the future